what are the productions that you've either seen or been in that have meant the most to you? I don't know. I mean, I'd probably answer it differently every time you ask me that question, depending on my mood. Uh, I remember there was a great Yiddish actor who came to South Africa and, and did Tevia. And uh, I'll never forget that performance. How old were you? I was uh, at university then. I was, in fact, I acted with him uh, in Yiddish theatre. He taught me better pronunciation. And uh, Yiddish theatre tended towards the melodrama, but he was a tr he was an exception to that. And um, Tevi is a great character, of course, uh, and the Sholem Aleichem story. And I remember his performance. That that was revelatory to me. Um, Joan Littlewood's theatre in London was a revelation to me. How you could you could you could get into a sort of almost Commedia dell'arte approach to characterization, and it could still be truthful and entertaining. And Joan Littlewood, this is late 1950s. Right? Late 1950s, 60s, in the East End of London, plays like Oh What a Lovely War, the Brendan Behan plays Taste of Honey, Sheila Delaney, all those. Those, that was a revelation, a type of theatre, uh, energetic and, uh, and broadly the characteristics, the character descriptions were broad and almost commedia dell'arte. Uh, that was very extraordinary. Um, and then I had a mentor, Richard Ainley, who I met at the Rose Bruford College where I trained for one year, who really showed me that theatre uh, touched all parts of our consciousness and could be used uh, creatively. Everything could be used. Walking down a London street with him was, was an education in itself as he saw and drew on things and, and spoke about theatre as part of our lives, important part of our lives. Uh, that, that gave me a, a sudden jolt, a very deep understanding of the potential of theatre. And he encouraged me to go into theatre. So, so my, you, were, you started as a school teacher? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I so taught in London. Was not part of your blood early on. No. In fact, in South Africa, one saw very little theatre. Growing up in Durban, it was interesting, there was no traditional theatre, no formal theatre. There was theatre on the street. There was the guy who drove the rickshaw, who had shells around his feet who rose up, let the rickshaw carry him up 10 feet in the air. Rickshaw? Uh, rickshaw is a guy who, uh, you, uh, what do you call them? And you see them in India and in China. Uh, you sit at the back and there's the, the poles and you, they hold the poles and the two wheels. And, yeah. and uh, that was a form of, 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 uh, of, of transport in Durban and the Zulus captured that market and they they dominated, they, they were the ritual drivers, but they were immensely theatrical. I mean, watching them perform uh, was, was uh, like going to the circus. And you'd see mock fights, Zulu mock fights on a Sunday morning. Uh, young, young men with their sticks, doing stick fights. It was, uh, life was extraordinarily theatrical in South Africa, and it still is. There's great visceral uh, uh, excitement in daily life. It's almost dangerous and uh, it's a, it gives a great charge to everything. Uh, but there was no formal theatre. Uh, Oklahoma was probably the first play I ever saw and a touring version of it came to Durban and for some reason I asked my parents to buy me a ticket and I actually went and saw this thing. It was strange to see all this. this. There's American exuberance on the stage. It was fun. It's quite quite entertaining. But you didn't. You weren't caught by the. Bomb. No, not then. No, no. I also liked uh, combat. I liked wrestling. I met a Canadian wrestler uh, at a small hotel that my mother was and I was at on a holiday, and he was playing penny rummy with the old ladies. And I went, "Who is he?" And I was introduced to him, uh, and he was uh, titled himself as lumberjack. Canada, who's a wrestler, and he let me run with him in the morning as he went training, and I went to see him fight in the Durban City Hall. He was fighting a, Dur a Natal hero, 
And <laughs> he stuck his eyes in the guy's, his fingers in the guy's eyes, and he was booed by the crowd, but he won. And my father had come along with me, the first time he'd ever seen a, 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 a professional fight, first time I'd ever seen a professional fight. And we rushed downstairs, and uh, this guy was getting into a taxi, and he saw us, and he waved to me, and he disappeared. But I then went and got a job with the promoter. And uh, for the next year, I was the kid who, at the end of each round, got into the ring, and I was in my cricket clothes, my, all my whites, and I showed the number of the round. Now they have pretty girls doing it, eh? But I did it for a year, which allowed me to get into the dressing rooms and see these combatants, boxers and wrestlers from all across the world. So the idea of spectacle, I suppose, always appealed to me. And uh, I'm glad we've moved on from gladiatorial times to the safety of professional theater. But I like that danger still. I like that exuberance and uh, that physicality, yeah. And yet you are attached to text-based theater? Yep. Because the, 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 the meaning, uh, the true human meaning of, of, of something is best revealed by someone who's thought long and deeply about that and given it in a theatrical form, not a director who will put some magic together, maybe in a very entertaining way. But inevitably it seems to me a bit more superficial than the playwright can bring, than what the playwright can bring to the theatre. So I was slightly at odds with the French theatre tradition growing up in Montreal. And it was tough because many young people, of course, loved the French theatre with its magic and so on. And I was constantly being challenged, why am I not emulating that? Why am I not going that route? And I was accused often as being uh, conservative, of being, you know, doing, becoming traditional in my attachment to text. But that's what I knew, it's what I loved, and so, yes, and, 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 and I brought in Russia, uh, uh, directors like Sasha Moran, who could use that type of theatricality, but always in the service of the play.